So I want to hijack the show a bit mm -hmm. okay. for a moment because there's something that we should talk about. Okay. Now, you might have heard that it's unlikely that the UN will list the Great Barrier Reef as officially in danger next month. And, and that is great news for the 69,000 jobs that the reef creates. But before you high-five our Environment Minister, Greg Hunt, think about this. For 18,000 years, the reef has thrived, despite whatever nature threw at it. It's become the biggest reef on the planet, home to more than 10% of all species of fish, and it just a few managed to trash it. Don't worry about finding Nemo, soon we won't have to look very hard, he'll be floating on top of the sea. See that? He's right there. He's dead. Despite what the UN says, the reef is in danger and scientists say it'll be dead by the end of this century. And that's because we've mined next to it, we've thrown dredge onto it, we've let sediment run into it, we've overfished it and we've pumped it full of carbon dioxide. Oh, and guess what? We've killed half of it in 30 years. And now the side effects of climate change, like coral bleaching, threaten to finish the job. When the waters of the reef warm, the coral loses its living organism and becomes a deathly white colour. Coral can survive some uh, bleaching events, but if it's year in, year out, unfortunately it's game over. Well, coral bleaching events are practically year in, year out now. Before 1998, few of the world's reefs had ever been severely bleached. Since then, every single reef region on the planet has been. So far this year, just about every inch of ocean on Earth has seen above average temperatures, some by five degrees, apart from a couple of spots, like here in French Polynesia. So perhaps come 2050, Greg Hunt can move to Ho Hoi and escape the heat, except that rising sea levels will have wiped it off the face of the planet. Look, found Nemo again, he's still up there. He's still dead. The good news is that it, it's not the end of the, the, the story for the Great Barrier Reef. In the last 18 months or so, we've seen a number of countries come forward with major pledges to cut greenhouse gas emissions very significantly. But not us. In fact, last year, we were named the second worst out of nearly 60 countries when it came to tackling climate change. But someone tell that to our Environment Minister, Old Greg. The world has recognised the progress being made in Australia. Yeah, sort of. The UN lists the pollution of marine waters, non-renewable energy facilities and marine transport infrastructure as some of the major things affecting the reef in 2015. And all of those things are about to increase. Because what old Greg's not talking about is the plan that he approved last July to create one of the biggest coal mines on the planet right next to the reef. It's one of nine planned mega mines in the Galilee Basin that would see up to 27 billion tonnes of coal dug up, transported to the coast, loaded onto giant carriers and shipped right through the Great Barrier Reef. We may as well be adding uh, emissions of 60 or 70 extra million people uh, to the planet each year. Now that just can't happen. Uh, while at the same time maintaining the, the health of the reef. I've been working on the Great Barrier for 40 years and most places are unrecognisable now. It's like watching your house on fire. Uh, it's slowly burning and the fire brigade's not turning up. So, what do we do? It seems that we've got two choices. On the one hand, we have Nemo. He's cute, he entertains children, and he's probably delicious. On the other, we have a lump of coal. It's black, it's resourceful, and it's good for humanity. But do we say bye bye Nemo or do we stop digging stuff out of the ground and shipping it on boats through Nemo's home? I just feel like in times like these we need to turn to our leaders. We need to ask what would Tony do? So what do you think Tony? We need uh, to stop the boats. You know I never thought I would say this but he is right. We need to stop the boats. We need to save Nemo and stop the boats. We need to protect the reef and stop the boats. Come on, who's with me? Yeah! Yes! Stop the boats! 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 Stop the boats!